In the process of photosynthesis, plants absorb carbon dioxide and split it up in order to use the carbon to grow and produce. At the same time, plants release oxygen back into the atmosphere for animals and humans to breathe. When a plant dies and then decomposes or is burnt, most of the carbon captured by the plant during its life is released back into the atmosphere. If, on the other hand, a plant is buried and eventually becomes coal, the carbon the plant has managed to capture during its life is then stored underground. This process is called sequestration. For millions of years, the process of sequestration in nature was left alone until humans discovered that sequestered carbon provided a convenient fuel. Humans started to use this sequestered carbon as fuel and released large amounts of this sequestered carbon into the atmosphere, which led to increased global warming. Biofuels, and palm oil in particular, there's no limit to how much we can have. We can just keep harvesting it every year, every year. Crude oil, you say how much is there in terms of millions of tons. Palm oil, you'd measure in terms of millions of tons per year. If you can keep harvesting it and growing and planting and harvesting, you can keep on the supply, really as long as there are people around. Biodiesel, for example, deriving from oil palms with carbon capture mechanisms, reduces carbon emissions into the atmosphere drastically. Additionally, biomass, a waste product from the oil palm plant matter, can be used to generate electricity, while preventing the excess carbon from being released into the atmosphere. In fact, in terms of carbon captured per hectare per year, oil palms are comparable to rainforests, allowing oil palms to greatly reduce carbon emissions while still serving as a viable food source and biofuel alternative for the world.